Hi, thanks for joining us for a very special episode of The Wind of Am. So far, I'm here in Little Rock, Arkansas, and I'm in a very special guest, Andre Slay. And Andre Slay is a pilot, a former athlete that's trained for the Paralympics. He's got an incredible story, an incredible message that he wants to share with you. And first, Andre, thanks for joining us. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Good, good. Tell us a little bit about your story, about, uh, you know, how you use your mindset to overcome things in life and to stay positive. Well, for everything in life, it's, it's, it's mental toughness, it's mental fortitude. You can't get anywhere, everything starts here. I mean, you may have the physical attributes, but if you don't have the mind, the winning mindset, you can't go anywhere. So the thing of us starting, or well, me starting out is, I had to get this strong before I could get everything else strong. You know, I was in a motorcycle accident starting off, uh, starting off flying airplanes and being a student pilot, and days within getting my pilot's license on my, what we call a check ride, which is our test, I was in a motorcycle accident. And at the time, I was really hopeful. I was like, okay, well, they're gonna sew this up, I'll be fine, and then the doctors came out and they said, look, our only our only option right now is amputation. If we can't, we can't seem to get everything fixed together, we're gonna have to amputate. And then that's when everything fell apart. Um, at that point, they ended up amputating a week later, and I ended up having to rehab and start all the way over in life, figuring out what I was going to do and everything. So I ended up, um, when I ended up uh, getting up from the motorcycle accident, I ended up walking three months. My goal was to walk in three months. So I was walking by a little bit after my birthday. I wanted to walk by my birthday. A little bit after my birthday, I was fitted with a prosthesis. And then a month from there, a little bit, a month and a half from there, I ended up taking my test in front of the FAA to show that I can satisfactorily fly an airplane while having a prosthetic. Started working for Delta Airlines and I met an amputee by the name of Jeffrey Glasper in 2010. Uh, Jeffrey, as you know, he's run uh, 11 Ironman. He's done 11 full Ironman in 12 months. He summited uh, Mount Everest in May 2016. And I mean, he just has such a huge resume. It was just really, I was really starstruck when I met this guy. And I wish I met him earlier. So he convinced me into running the mar uh, the uh, Boston Marathon for 2014. Finished up my uh, certificate to uh, get my commercial license and I started flying for the Arkansas Fortune Department. And so now I'm a pilot, one of the few pilots out here with us an amputee. And I still plan on having more goals to be an athlete. Wow. That's a lot right there. That's pretty it impressive. Uh, and it, it all starts with you know, people. And we always talk about this with the win at minute. You know, right. one person can influence your life and make a difference. You know, how do you make a difference in other people's lives and, and what inspires you to do that? Well, the biggest thing is I wanted to make sure that I could give what I didn't have because I wish I met that Jeff Glassford or, or some awesome athlete to that was going through what I went through. You know, it's easy for your mom or for people from church or people that are total able body to say it's gonna be okay when they're not in your situation. Yeah. You know, but now I can talk to someone that knows how it is to feel different or knows how it feels to be stared at when you're walking in the mall. You know, somebody else that says it's okay, I deal with it every day to give them that. And so now I make sure that every time I can, if I get that phone call to talk to somebody or talk to someone's family members, that I'm able to go and, you know, be positive. So that's one of the big things that I Found that's really, really important. That's that is a key point, and we talked about this earlier about staying positive. You know, right? You know, how do you follow through on your goals, and what's the biggest obstacle in achieving goals for you? The biggest obstacle is not really making the goals because I can tell myself every day I'm going to make the Olympics, but it all starts within, in my opinion, food. Like for me, it's okay. I want to do this, but I can't do this. I can't do this professionally. I can't do this and look the part without eating right. Once I just feel like everything, a lot of things center around it. Once you get into that part of the, your life when you start eating right and it becomes natural, I feel like you start thinking positive thoughts. My most positive thoughts happened when I went vegetarian because I started eating right and I would just wake up feeling thankful. I never felt that way when I was eating bad. You know, and I trust me, I hate it. I'd rather have cheese sticks than french fries, <laughs> but I just noticed so much more positive. I slept better. Once you get that involved, you know, then I started making the goals. I said, okay, well, I want to make it to the Olympic trial. So I did. But I should have made it a step further. I should have said, I'm going to make this team. That would have made me work a little harder. So now next time, 
I want to make the team next time, though. Next time, um, I set goals to say, okay, I want to be an airline pilot by this time. You know, you may not always make your goals. I want to be an airline pilot by last year, but it's happening now. So, regardless if you're just in your house, it starts with repetition, it starts with a healthy mindset. You take it to the outside and you start doing it. It's, again, I, I totally believe it takes 30 days to create a habit. Uh, for me, sometimes two weeks, but if I can get that started, it usually starts, you know, starts coming on and that's that's where everything starts. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And another point that you touched on that I want to ask you about is gratitude. Okay. You know, how important is gratitude in your day in helping you keep a positive mindset? Well, none of my goals just fell out the roof into my lap. You know, it, a lot of things happen because of someone else. Well, the best thing to do is be thankful. It's not just giving a dollar to someone homeless, but why don't you go help them get food? Why don't you go with them to make sure they're getting the right thing? So it's always gratitude. I'm, listen, Jeff didn't have anything to gain with me. And he helped me get a you know, $20,000 running loan. The least I can do is show people the right way. I've met so many amputees that had nothing like, for example, when I lost my leg, I didn't know paralympics existed. Now I make sure because I lost my athletic window. So my goal is to make sure, make sure I see the next one. If I see this kid that's 19, he's an amputee, hey, we can't, you're not gonna grow your leg back. So let's make what's best of what's, what you're missing and let's gain. And so that's how I show my gratitude is to give them their information. So now they know that they can go to other prosthetic doctors. I was only told that you can go to one. I found out there's four around here. I found out one of the four does, did the prosthetics for Oscar Pistorius. You know, that's got me a great running leg, you know, that can set you out. Because te technically, there's more amputees that lose their leg from diabetes and stepping on a nail from gangrene than there are, since there's more younger athletes, especially because of the military, make sure we point them to the right people and get them to become athletes. What is every time they become an athlete and they have some competition, they grow. And if they grow quick and they're happy, they're thankful. And that's my goal. If, since I couldn't since I couldn't get the right information at 23, I make sure I give everyone else the right information. So they have choices. I didn't know I had choices. Yeah. So information is powerful. Right. Um, if you could say one last thing to our audience out there, if someone's facing an obstacle or a challenge, you know, what's one piece of advice that you could give to anybody out there facing their own obstacle or own challenge? Anyway? Two advices. Oh, all right. <laughs> YouTube. <laughs> Find out your goals and type them in. And one thing, everybody has internet is accessible. Go to YouTube, says amputee swimmer. Type it in, there's an amputee swimmer out there or surfer. And you can see someone doing it and you may not have a Jeff Glass printer or somebody like me to come by and see you. Now you can see somebody do it, then visualize yourself and do all the, do your research. Research is important. And once you do that research and you find out the steps, you could be doing something you didn't ever think you would be doing. Well, I very much appreciate you coming on yep. as you fired me up and I'm sure you fired everybody else out there up. And so thank you very much. And now everybody else, get out there and win the day the Andre Slay way. Win. Slay it. Yes.